I wanted to show you guys a quick little ammo and reloading system. You'll see in the bottom right here, I have 10 out of 10. So that's gonna be like my clip size, right? So as I shoot, the clip goes down and 10 is the maximum amount. And then on the right side of this bar, we have our ammo. So we have 20 ammo, you know, left in reserve that we can reload out of 100, which would be the maximum. So I shot, let's say three bullets. I wanna go back up to 10. So if I press R, it should reload. I go back at a 10 out of 10 and it subtracts seven from my reserve ammo, right? So you can go all the way down. Once your clip size is empty, you can't shoot anymore. When you don't have enough ammo to refill an entire clip, it'll just give you whatever's left. And when your clip is out of bullets and your reserve ammo is empty as well, well, you're kind of screwed and you can't shoot anymore until you pick up something like an ammo box that will refill your ammo back to max. And then you could just like reload and keep shooting, right? So I have my project here. I based this off of my five minute top-down shooter tutorial. So if you want to get to where I'm at here and you want to have a game set up like this, then go ahead and just do that five minute tutorial. It's really quick. But otherwise, if you just care about ammo, regardless of where you are in your game, let's first start with my player. I have this player object and underneath it, I have a weapon that has a weapon script. And then attached to that weapon is a fire point that just rests at the tip of the gun. And the fire points where we're gonna generate bullets. This was all covered in that tutorial I just mentioned. And so let's take a look at this weapon script because this is where we're gonna handle all of our ammo and reloading logic. So in this weapon script, currently we have a bullet prefab, a fire point of where to spawn bullets, and then we give it a force so that, you know, the bullets get shot out at a certain speed. And when we call this fire method, we just instantiate a bullet at the position and we add a force to the bullet so that it moves. Very simple. So if we wanted to have some sort of ammo system, then we need to set up a couple of variables and you can tweak this depending on the needs of your game. If you don't wanna have a clip or like a magazine and you just wanna have ammo and max ammo, then just do that. But what we'll want to do, but what we wanna make is four public integers. So I'll say public int and I'm gonna say current clip max clip size current ammo and max ammo size. And I'm gonna default max ammo size to 100 and max clip size to 10, just for testing purposes. But you can tweak all of these values in the inspector. And so the first thing we wanna do is check to see if we have any bullets in our clip. So in fire, we can simply just say, if the current clip is greater than zero, so we have some bullets we can shoot, then we'll go ahead and shoot and after we instantiate this bullet and get it moving, we just want to tell our current clip to minus minus, so decrement itself. And so with this one if statement, it will now only fire a bullet if you have ammo in your current clip. And when you get to zero, we now need to have a way to reload. So I'll make another method and I'll say public void reload. We need to know how many bullets we actually want to reload, right? Because let's say your current clip was seven and your max clip size is 10. In that case, to get back up to 10, you only need to add three bullets. So you want to add three bullets to your current clip and then you'd want to subtract three bullets from your ammo reserve, right? But you also have to check to see if you even have three bullets in your ammo reserve. So there's a couple, you know, conditions we have to check for, and it sounds a little complicated, but we can actually do this in four lines of code. It's very simple. So at first I'll say int reload amount is equal to the max clip size minus the current clip. So this right here tells us how many bullets do we need to refill our clip back to max. But again, now we have to actually check our ammo reserve and say, hey, do you actually have enough for this? If the ammo reserve does not have enough, then we wanna tell it to just give us whatever it has. You know, maybe we need five bullets to fill the clip, but there's zero in the ammo reserve, so it can't give us any. Or maybe it has like three bullets, so it can get us back up to eight instead of 10, right? So at this point, we just wanna say reload amount is equal to, and then I'm gonna do a ternary operator here. So I'm gonna say if the current ammo minus our reload amount is greater than or equal to zero. So right here, really what we're saying is does our ammo reserve have enough ammo to fill our clip back to the max size? If it's true and we do have enough, then we just want to return reload amount, right? Because things are going as planned, no changes. Otherwise, we just wanna return our current ammo, which again, could be zero, or maybe it's just less than what it would take to refill our clip back to max size. We then simply wanna say our current clip 
plus equals our reload amount, and it should never exceed our max clip size at this point based on that if check right above. And then we want to tell our current ammo to minus equal our reload amount, which again is also kind of handled by that ternary operator up here, so it should never go below zero. And finally, since we're here, we just want to have a way to increase our reserve ammo by picking up like an ammo box. So I'll just make a quick method that says public void add ammo. It could take an integer ammo amount. Then we just want to tell our current ammo to plus equal our ammo amount, right? So increase by the ammo amount. And here we can do a check to see if the current ammo is greater than our max ammo size. Well, then we'll set current ammo equal to max ammo. Okay, so that's all the changes we're gonna make in our weapon here. I have a player controller script attached to my player and in update, I basically have this check here where we see if I'm pressing the left mouse button. And if we do, I'm telling my weapon to fire. And so I'm gonna do the similar type thing here and say if input dot get key down and then I'll pass in the key code R. But again, this could be a configurable key. You don't have to do it in player controller. You could do it wherever you're actually handling firing this weapon. You could use any key you want. I'm gonna use R and I'm just gonna tell my weapon to reload, nice and simple. And so there's so many ways to handle pickups. I've covered this in like 10 videos now, but I basically just made a square colored to green. It has a box collider 2D with is trigger set to true. And then I have this ammo pickup script. And in this ammo pickup script, I'm doing an on trigger enter 2D check. So when this ammo pickup collides with something, I'm gonna check to see if this collision game object has a child component of weapon. If we find a weapon, well, then we're just gonna tell it to add ammo of the max ammo size. So I'm gonna fill it up to full, but you know, maybe you have different types of pickups where it only replenishes a little bit of ammo or whatever you wanna do in your game. And then we just destroy the pickup. And then I also have this ammo text UI object here. I just have this for the demo so you guys can see what's going on. If you wanted a quick and dirty way of doing it, here's the script I'm using, but there's better ways of doing this. I'm just doing this for the demo purely. And so at this point, you can now shoot your gun down. When you reach zero bullets in your clip, you cannot shoot anymore. You can press R and it will refill it to max. Your ammo will reduce itself by how much you've replenished. You can do this again. In this case, I'm now down to two bullets. So I need eight to go back to 10. Our ammo reserve only has four. I press R and we go up to six. So we're accounting for that case where we don't have enough ammo left. And then we can pick up our ammo box and it refills it back up to max. So I hope this helped you out. Let me know if you're having any trouble in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. Or if you leave a comment, you know, it'll make me happy. And be sure to subscribe because I'm actually going to show you how to make different weapons coming up in a next tutorial. So be on the lookout for that. All right. Thanks for watching. See ya.